Hello my friends, Enrique here and welcome to another video. On this tutorial I will show you how to optimize Windows 11 to improve your performance in games. This is somehow of a long video, so I will let you guys all the timestamps on the description. So if you want to skip any part of the video or resume it again on a later time, you will know where to go. Before we start making changes into the OS itself, we want to check a couple of things first, that you are running the latest update from Windows, and to do this you want to right click on the start button, go into settings, and now into Windows Update on the left side menu. And you want to click the button that says check for updates. Wait until this is finished. And if you have any available updates, make sure to download them and install them and restart your PC. Now into your graphic cards. Both Nvidia and AMD have released optimized drivers for Windows 11. You can do this by using one of your GPU manufacturers software like NVIDIA G4 Experience or by going onto the description down below where I'm going to let you guys the links to update your GPU drivers from both AMD and NVIDIA. Now with all of the updates out of the way, we can finally start tweaking Windows 11 itself to improve performance. The first thing that we're going to be doing is improving the boot times and for that we want to remove some applications from starting along Windows. To do that, right click on the start button select the task manager and once the window is open you want to go into the startup tab and here you're going to see all the programs that by default are set to start up when you start your pc as you can see i have most of them disabled already but to prevent that from happening you want to right click on the app that you want to disable and click disable this is not only going to improve the startup time but also these programs are not going to be running on the background especially now the director is coming to pc with an mbmb drive but even if you don't have one, you don't want to have your main drive almost full with applications that you don't use. So, right click on the startup menu, go into settings, and on the left side, into apps, and go into apps and features. Here you are going to find a list with all the programs and applications, even from Windows Store, that you have currently installed on your system. So you want to check for anything that you don't really use or need, especially if you are using an OEM brand PC like HP, for example, that they normally come with a lot of bloatware that most of the time you really don't need. To uninstall any of them you want to, click on the three dots and select uninstall. Now let's go into the display setting. Stay on the settings menu, on the right tab select system and now go into display. On here I recommend that you set the scale if it's not already to 100%. Into the resolution, check that you have the maximal resolution that your monitor can do. Right now I have another one because I have one ultra wide monitor and for this video it will be really difficult to record my screen. But you want to select the one that is recommended and the biggest one that you can do. If your monitor is capable of using HDR, make sure to activate it because we now have made some improvements in Windows 11 about this. And now you want to click into advanced display and here you want to choose the highest refresh rate that your monitor can do. Because a lot of times doing one update, this can be changing your behalf and you don't want to do that. On a really small note, if you are using an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to make a video about the best setting for NVIDIA control panel, so stay tuned for that. Now, let's change the power plan. You want to click into the search bar and you want to type power and you want to click where it says choose a power plan. In here, if you don't see all of these options, you want to click on this arrow to show them. If you are on a desktop, choose high performance because it's the best option. And if you are in a laptop, I will have it on balance head or change it to high performance while playing games. But as you can see right here, I have an extra power plan. And this is the Windows Ultimate Performance Power Plan. That is even better than high performance and I'm going to show you how to get it. Go into the search bar, type CMD. Here you're going to see the command prompt. You want to right click on it and set it to run as administrator. Click on yes on the prompt. And now you want to copy and paste the command that I have for you guys in the description and press enter. This is going to install the power shim ultimate performance. You can close now the command prompt and when you refresh the power options, you're going to see right here the ultimate performance plan. Now you can close this part right here and go back into the settings. And here let's go into some gaming optimizations. Go into the gaming section here on the left and you're going to see three options right here. The first thing that we're going to do is to go into the Xbox Game Bar and turn this off if you don't use it. Now let's go back into gaming, let's go into captures. And again guys, only if you don't use this, I recommend you guys to turn everything right here to off. This is an option that you can record your games. If you make videos and you want to record your gameplay, you can turn it on if you don't use another software like OBS. 
This right here is something similar like Nvidia Shadowplay but built into Windows. Now let's go back again into gaming and you want to go into game mode and you want to make sure that game mode is active. Especially now, Windows is working really hard to improve game mode and the gaming experience in Windows 11. For turning this on with all the updates that are going to come, it's a good recommendation to have. Another small thing that you can do right here is here into the graphics settings, you're going to see some of the games and applications that you have installed in that moment. And some of them, for example, let's choose here Normal Sky, you see that it's let Windows decide high performance. You want to make sure that all the games that you are actively playing, you want to click on them, click on options and select high performance or your graphic card and click on save. Do this with as many games as you find on the list. Now let's optimize a little bit the privacy of Windows 11 and for that go into the privacy and security tab on the left side. I recommend you guys that you turn off everything or almost everything right here. This is personal preference, but for example, like me, because I'm using the Insiders program, I have to have on the diagnostic and feedback data. What I will do is to go in every one of them, for example, general, to turn off everything that you have right here. Of course, if you see any option that you want to keep, leave it in on. And the same is going to be with the app permissions right here. You can turn off, for example, the location. You can see the apps that want to use it. I have it set it off for everything, except, for example, things like the camera and the microphone, because if you turn everything off right here, some applications or programs that you need to use the camera, for example, OBS or Skype, are going to be off and you are not going to be able to use them. Now we are going to be changing some settings of Windows itself. So right here into the settings menu, going to system, notifications. Turn off the most top one so everything is set to off. If the option during these times is on, be sure to turn it off as well, because if not on these times, you are going to be able to get the notifications. Go back into the system tab and scroll down until you see multitasking. I recommend in here that you don't use the snap Windows feature or at least turn it off as you run a game, because anytime you snap the window into place while running a game, it can hurt the performance of the game itself. That is why I recommend to set it into off. Go back once more into system and go down into remote desktop. And again, as before, if you don't use this feature a lot, I recommend to set it into off. The next step is going to be go into the personalization tab on the left side, click into background and make sure that you have set up a picture or a solid color and not the slideshow. The slideshow option is maybe going to look good, but this is going to use some system resources that we prefer that they are allocated to our game. Go back into personalization and now go into the colors tab. You want to see right here the transparency effects and you want to set it to off. Remember guys, this guide is not to make Windows 11 look beautiful, but instead is to give you the best performance available from your system. On the left side now click into apps, go into offline maps and right here make sure that if you have any maps downloaded and you don't really use them, to delete all of them. Now, go back into the app section, go into apps for websites, and you want to turn everything off right here. After you have done, go once more back into apps, go into video playback. Be sure that you don't have optimized for battery life or you have it optimized for video quality. A really small intermission right here to remember you guys to click the like button if you're enjoying the content right now and you find it useful, and to subscribe if you want to see more content like this one. Back into the video. Now we want to adjust the Windows appearance and performance. Close this window right here, go into the search bar once more, and you want to type performance. Open the menu that say adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. In here, I recommend you guys that you uncheck everything, but you left these three on. These are the three most important ones that they are show thumbnails instead of icons, so window contents while dragging, and smooth edges of screen fonts. After you have done that, you want to go into the advanced tab right here and into processor scheduling. You want to choose these two programs. And now you want to go into virtual memory. What is virtual memory? Virtual memory is, let's call it a cache overflow. And when your PC runs out of RAM memory, it's going to store some of the RAM into your disk drive. You want to change this right here. And right here, you want to unselect the automatically managed paging file size for all drives. If you have more than one drive, you want to go into the ones that are not an SSD and you want to select no paging file. Of course, if you only have one drive and it's not an SSD, you want to make it there. Select the drive where you have your SSD and go into system manage size. Select it, click OK. OK once more, then apply and all of the changes that are going to happen once you restart your PC. Click OK to close this window. Now, let's do some registry optimizations. For that, you want to click on the search bar one more. I'd break it and you want to open the registry editor. Inside of it, 
you want to go into H key local machine inside of software, Microsoft, and scroll all the way down into Windows NT. Right here, expand that folder also and expand current version. You're going to have a big list right here of another folders and you're going to search for multimedia. Expand this one as well. And in here, you want to double click on the one that say network totaling index. Make sure that you have hexadecimal selected and you want to delete the A that's set here and you want to enter F seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times F, 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 F. Click on OK. And now you want to open system responsiveness and you want to change once more the value data from 14 that is right here to zero, making sure that you have hexadecimal once more selected right here. Click on OK. Now once more here on the left on system profile and also expand the task menu. You are going to see the games folder right here. You want to click on it and you're going to see here a lot of options. Double click on GPU priority and be sure that the value data is in 8 and hexadecimal. Click OK. Now open priority, hexadecimal and select the value data of 6. Press OK. Now you're going to see right here shelling category. You want to double click on it and you're going to see here that the value data is medium. You want to delay this and write with a capital H I. Click OK. And we are done with the registry editor, so you want to close this right here. Now let's clean a couple of the temporary files of Windows after you have upgraded to Windows 11. Right click into the start menu right here, click on run, and you want to type percentage temp percentage. Click on OK. And this temporal folder is going to get open. Now you want to select everything that is in here, and you can delete absolute everything. If any actions cannot be completed, click in do this for all current items and click on skip. It's going to free up a lot of space that is not using it for temporary files. Now close this window and click once more into the search bar and type disk cleanup and open this up right here. Select the right that you want to clean up, click on OK and wait until it's done. What I recommend you guys to do right here is to select everything and to press OK. This will delete all of these temporary files right here, delete files, and wait until it's done. When it's completely done, the window will close itself. So now you want to click one more into the search bar and go again into the disk cleanup. And once it's done, you want to go into cleanup system files. This can take some time until it's done, or wait until it's finished. As you can see right here, only the Windows Update cleanup is going to be over 6 GB. So again, you want to select everything and click OK once more. Wait until this is done. When that is finished, don't forget to restart your PC so all the changes are applied. And now guys, enjoy your games. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. If anything new comes up when Windows 11 is completely out and free for everyone, I will let you guys know with another tutorial or another guide on this channel, so don't forget to subscribe for that. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and you find it useful, and thanks for watching my friend. That is it for this video, stay tuned for new tutorials, and like always, see you on the next time, bye bye.